Welcome back to the show. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. And I'm Alex Phillips. And this is Cost Talk on Talk TV, on TV, on radio, online, and on your smart speaker. Now, a Newcastle United fan has been banned from attending matches for two years because of her views on trans women. Lindsay Smith was investigated by the Premier League as part of an operation meant to expose racism. Instead, the four-month probe looked at the 34-year-old social media where she criticised trans ideology. Well, I'm proud to say that she joins us now. Lindsay, I've read into your story. Can I just say, it's nothing short of horrific. Why the Premier League thinks they should be snooping around the personal social media accounts of their fans to try and weed out people. Not only that, they then decide because you actually believe in biological sex, you're some sort of danger to the public and they ban you from attending football matches. This is nothing short of a pretty grim police state. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've found the whole thing pretty um, mind-blowing, if I'm honest with you. Um, I never thought I'd find myself in the midst of, of this massive war that we seem to have going on on gender and, and sex and women's spaces, um, but here I am. So, Yeah, and they, and they called you the target. Uh, there mm -hmm. seems to be evidence that they might have even followed you. Uh, they uh, took pictures of the part where you used to work uh, walk your dog. Uh, they went onto your Twitter or X profile or your social media profiles to look for I live so they could try to find out where you did live. Uh, you were investigated by a bunch of shady people at the Premier League and maybe at Newcastle United as well, uh, as if you're some sort of criminal. What I would like to say to you, Lindsay, is I think they're breaking the law doing this to you. You haven't broken any laws. Why are they doing this? They're not the police. I know. I mean, I can't explain why they're doing it to be honest with you um the only thing i can think of is because of the ownership model that we have um they're feeling under pressure to to obviously act on things like this um but in this case i mean if i was targeting people and things like that then fair enough but these are just my general thoughts my opinions and they're not perfectly polished thoughts and opinions but that's not against the law so yeah. and do you know what frankly speaking as a woman i would say that football has uh, made great strides in pushing the women's game in trying to make the world aware that women can kick a ball score goals and do tackles uh, just like a man can and then at the same time when we have sports being targeted by people who are now saying, well, look, I've changed sex, and then they have a greater strength, a bigger biological presence. This whole debate going on about whether someone who's born biological male should be in women's changing rooms, no. Should be able to go to women's toilets, no. Should be able to compete in women's sports, no. You, this is a huge step backwards. To me, this is sexism re rearing its ugly head. Yeah, I mean, it's something I talk about quite a bit. You know, it wasn't that long ago we weren't even allowed to vote. We had to fight just to get our single sex spaces. And these people have been trying to get into our single sex spaces ever since. This is just a new way for these predators. You know, I'm not saying they're all predators, obviously, but for us to pretend like certain people clinging on to this movement aren't doing it for their own personal agenda i think is very naive like there's the genuine people and then there is unfortunately always going to be the bad ones um you know and that's 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 what we have to prepare for my you know my attitude is good men stay out of women's spaces so the bad men do too yeah uh, Lindsay, i know you've teamed up with the uh, free speech union uh with toby young uh and you were advised i think a friend asked uh, advise you uh, to put in one of these uh, subject access requests Requests, says Toby with Lindsay there. He's a good man. Uh, and, uh, uh, and you were stunned uh, to find out there was indeed an 11-page dossier on you, as somebody says, mm -hmm. a Stasi-like dossier. Uh, this has got to stop, hasn't it? Now, what, what are Newcastle now saying? Uh, are, are they saying that you're still banned until 2026? Because what exactly have you done wrong? You've delivered your opinion on biological sex, on gender ideology. Uh, there's nothing illegal about this. I mean... Could you consider suing Newcastle United? Because I don't think what they've done is legal. Yeah, I mean, the legal route's definitely something I'm looking at with the Free Speech Union. Um, we have actually put a complaint into the ICO, the Data Protection Regulator. Um, that was sent last Friday before everything broke. Um, so, you know, it is something we're looking at. We're also looking at um, taking legal action for a breach of the Equality Act based on my belief. So. 
I mean, it seems to me when it comes to the Premier League, it's perfectly fine to beat down on women for, frankly, just wanting to protect women. And I don't think that can be stressed enough when it comes to this debate. It's OK to beat down on the very fans who pay extortionate amounts to go to football matches that enable the Premier League to be one of the wealthiest sports in the world. And yet they don't seem to turn their attentions to, say, the owners of Newcastle United, a Saudi Arabian trust fund, and exactly. question what their views really on trans point. rights might be. Yeah, yeah, really good point, Alex. Lindsay? Yeah, it's the hypocrisy of the whole thing, isn't it, really? They're talking about you know, their their values and everything like that. They want everyone to feel safe and included. But at the same time, when they're saying this to me, they've made me now feel unsafe, um, like I'm not welcome. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to believe that I, me, just little old me with my opinions, I'm a danger to over 50,000 people. I find that very hard to believe. I'll tell you what, yeah, I mean, I feel sorry for you because you support Newcastle. You should come and support <laughs> a decent team like Fulham. I'll take you to Craven Cottage. <laughs> we don't do this sort of thing there. Well, we probably do, I don't know. Uh, but well, tell us, Lindsay, how you felt when you got the results of your subject access request and it was a, an 11 page dossier and it was called on the front it said target profile lindsay smith so, how did you feel when so you creepy. saw that it had me sick to my stomach to be honest and i, I think i said when i was uh, in a meeting with uh, the interview with toby at first i didn't even see it because i was so interested in the emails and i was so shocked to find that they've been trying to because i thought this all started at the end of october on the, you know when they sent the email so i was gobsmacked to find they've been doing it since july um and then like i say that's what i was focused on and then a few days later i was sifting through other bits and that's when I stumbled upon that and and I just I felt sick to my stomach to be honest with you I, I couldn't believe the extents they'd gone to like to, to you know they even went as far as to say she doesn't appear to have a season ticket um because she works and has a business in Whitney Bay she seems to have ties to Whitney Bay I don't see what that has to do ties with anything to, to be honest as if that's it's sinister or something <laughs> Lindsay all I can say is please continue to love and support football if you're a football fan that is your right and also please continue to do what you're doing and backing it's not opinion Lindsay it is fact women are women men are men and women deserve to have the sanctity of a changing room toilets and sports for their own sex and also I know you, you are the suffragettes. And, I, and I, I know you love your team and everything, but I think you should sue Newcastle United and expose this, because this is outrageous. This is like kind of something in North Korea, uh, yeah. just because of what you believe. And by the way, we agree with what you believe. Yeah. It's great Thank to you. talk to you, Lindsay, and uh, you stay strong, all right? Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I re honestly, I really appreciate it. The support's been overwhelming, so I, I honestly can't express enough. If it wasn't for the support, I, I, I honestly wouldn't have had the strength to carry on doing this. So We'll get you on again soon, Lindsay. Yeah, uh, we're going to carry you. on with this story. Good for you. Good for you. Um, <laughs> now, moving on. And Labour.